Hello, it's Sarah, and I'm wood burning. I'm going to burn. This is a big box. I got this one at Michael's uh, Art Mines. I forget how much it was, but I just love the top of it. It was real clean looking. This is my little resin hazard zone right here, but um, it's just a flat, maybe a cigar box. It's like considered a traditional like cigar box. Sanded it and traced on this design. This is just a uh, adult coloring book page, I'm pretty sure. I go on uh, Google and I just put in, I think I was doing like lotus flower mandala or something like that and this one came up and I liked it and it fits this box so nice. So I am wood burning it and I'm using my skew right now. This is the one that I like to use to make straight lines. Uh, my, my Colwood Super Pro 2 and it's on a four and a half. So I'm going to finish up these lines around the outside. And what I'm finding is I do like to pivot the pen. So I turn the pen with my fingers like that instead of trying to force the pen I'm, I'm using my <clears throat> anywho <clears throat> just went for a walk it's very humid <clears throat> and spring is springing out there Kirby stop um Oh boy, that was so out of line. And this is very crooked too. See, I just came inside and I'm like haphazard. Gotta slow my roll. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of things budding. Whoops, that was way off course. But I fixed it. And at the end, you won't notice. It'll be fine. I didn't trace on everything that the coloring book page had. I figured I would play it by ear and see if it started to look too crowded or, you know, maybe I would want to change some things. It's a pretty intricate design, but I liked it. I just loved how that dragonfly box turned out. This is very similar design to that. It has similar flowers. So um, I decided to do this lotus. So I didn't, I left out a lot of the, uh, the lotus, the details on the lotus petals. And I'll see if I'm going to add those because I think it still looks good just the way it is. Now this has a very narrow let me see if I can do it. Kirby, stop! She's pumping my leg. I think there's a resin spot there. I don't know. I might fill that in. Like blacken it in with the burner. Yeah, I didn't trace those lines. I just penciled them on, so I'm trying to straighten them out as I go. And I don't, I'm not planning on adding color to this. Believe it or not, I, I'm going to stick with the monotone and just add white when I when I shade I'll use the brown white and gold um, I just want to see how it looks because I really like I said I love that dragonfly box that I did with just the uh, all right I'm gonna do
line that up. I didn't draw it right. So I'm lining up the point a little better. I have my smoke absorber on. But I feel like I'm going to try and do some of this wood burning outside when the weather permits because I don't want to inhale too much smoke. This, this smoke absorber does do a pretty good job, though, of getting it away from me, but I still get some. Um, I'm trying to do the, the most straight lines first. I just went very wonky there. And there's a little bead at the end of that. There's two dots there. This one has more of like a spiral. Ooh, I went really close. I'm trying to keep them the same distance, but... a little leaf. I'll use my other tool, my like pen, uh, my littlest ball tool actually on a lower heat to get all these little details. But I could put these straight lines. And all right, let's do a petal. I think I left out some of the details on the centers of these flowers because I didn't like the way the flower centers turned out on that dragonfly box. So I think this is a bit different, so I only changed like a tiny little bit of it. a little circle but I think I'll leave all those little curly petals there for the other um, tip Oof. 
so let me turn this off for a sec. So here's the design. All these leaves of the petals of the lotus flower have like lines through it. I don't know that I'm going to do that. I'm going to finish these with a different tool. Um, all of these comma strokes I don't th think I'm going to do. And then I might not put all these little petals on these areas either. Um, I think I am going to do the way that has stripes there. I think I am going to do that. Um, I forgot a, f a leaf here. So yeah, I, I just have to decide. But then I do like, so these centers have this like lines. I, I don't know if I'm going to do that. I want to put the ball tool, I want to put a little dot in between each of those smaller petals. And maybe I'll do those dots. I love the way the dots look on the piece. The way the whole outside of this is done with the dots, I'll probably do. Um, and these bigger dots. So right now though, you know what I'm going to do while I have this um, the skew in here? I want to put the, um, the outline of the box on too. I just love how it frames it. To the shadow. Can't really see the line. I can't see the line. I'm going to go this way because I can see. I wasn't even the shot. Sorry. I can see this, that's a very faint line that I did with pencil. But it is hard to see. I just like the way the box looks when it has that frame around the outside. And I should still have room for the dots on the outside edge of the mandala. I haven't decided what I'm going to do on the sides of the box. Probably just a little vine with leaves. I think it's simple and see that's it. Now I could put checks or do something fancy or I don't know. Um, but it doesn't need it. I think I am going to blacken that in, that line around the outside. Um,
have quite a bit more to do. So I'm going to go off camera and I'll get back to you when it's all done. Be right back. Well, I think it's done. I haven't figured out what I'm going to put on the side, like I said, but for now, I signed my name. I think I'm going to take a break, call it a night, and come back tomorrow fresh and see uh, what I want to put on the side. I could do a couple flowers, maybe. Um, I could just do a little, um, you know, a little bit of this pattern, maybe, you know, going down or something like that. Um, but I'm done for now. I did fill in some of the areas that I would tend to have put uh, gold paint possibly, but I think it's okay. I just, I wanted to let that happen. Um, I'll still find plenty of places to put the gold. And I mean, I changed it a tiny bit. I didn't put these little swoopy things here. Um, I just put the dots. Um, what else? I didn't fill in here, which I kind of want to, but I'm going to do it with paint. Like, see how they're a little filled in? It's just hard for me to get that delicate of a detail. And then I didn't put the line work on any of the petals of the lotus, because I just thought I had enough of that going on with the leaves. So, I just left that the way it is. Um, I did not put all these little comma strokes I guess they're called um you know I mean I wasn't even going to put these little whoopties up here and I didn't put the dots there I could just put a row of dots I could do that that would probably look cool but for now it is done and that's it you guys thanks for watching